Good evening and welcome to Thursday's edition of the Regional News. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowdy chaired an extraordinary meeting of the National Security Council, NSC, where a decision was taken to conduct an immediate review of the relevant laws, regulations and practices surrounding certain aspects of the operations of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, TTPS. The review of the TTPS operations comes following an incident at Courts Megastore San Juan. According to a police report, an office duty police officer fired his gun in an alleged robbery in the parking lot of Courts Megastore, killing siblings Simeon and Sanaya Leslie. The National Security Minister stated that attendees at the NSC extraordinary meeting included Police Commissioner Arda Christopher, Chief of Defense Staff, Air Vice Marshal, and Director of Security Services Agency, SSA, Darrell Daniel. Ten Americans who were freed by Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro's government in a U.S. prisoner swap have landed at a U.S. military base in San Antonio, Texas. The individuals were freed yesterday in exchange for a U.S. release of an ally of Maduro, Colombian businessman Alex Saab, who was granted clemency by U.S. President Joe Biden and returned to Venezuela yesterday. Maduro also agreed to release at least 20 opposition-linked prisoners from prison. U.S. prosecutors had accused Saab of siphoning off some $350 million from Venezuela via the United States in a scheme that involved bribing Venezuelan government officials. He denied the charge. As part of the deal, all six Americans classified by the U.S. as wrongfully detained in Venezuela were released, along with four other Americans. Washington had given the Venezuelan government until November 30th to make progress on removing public office bans on opposition candidates and start releasing political prisoners and wrongfully detained Americans in order to avoid a reinstatement of sanctions. A former Haitian legislator has been sentenced to life imprisonment for his role in the July 7, 2021 assassination of the country's president, Jovenel Moise. The Miami Federal Court sentenced Joseph Joel John on Tuesday after he pleaded guilty in October to three charges, including conspiracy to kill and kidnap a person outside the U.S., and providing material support and resources to carry out a plot to kill Moise, quote unquote. It turned out that the plan got overwhelmed, out of hand, and they decided to kill the president instead of kidnapping him. But it was never my intention, John 52, a former Haitian senator, told the court. He told the court that when the other conspirators made the decision to assassinate the president, he could not back down for fear of being killed. Apologizing to those close to him, the press attorney, Brian Curlew, said the fact that he participated in the plot does not mean he accepted the killing, even though he himself pleaded guilty to the charges. But federal judge Jose Martinez responded by saying, quote unquote, whether you attempted or not the assassination, you enter into dangerous territory. Moise was gone down at his private residence overlooking the capital Port-au-Prince. His wife, Martine Moise, was also shot during the attack and had to be flown to the United States for medical treatment. Thank you for watching. I am Tiana Cole.